Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can modify the templates of the printed versions used by the task windows in Peachtree, or you can create your own. All of the printed forms, including invoices, payroll checks, and mailing labels, can be modified to fit your needs. In order to modify one of the printed form templates, you must first open the Select a Report or Form window, or the Select a Report window if you're using Peachtree 2003 through 2007. Now, if you're using Peachtree 2008 through 2011, select the Forms tab within the Select a Report or Form window, and then choose the name of the form to customize from the listing shown. In these versions, you can then click the Customize button that appears in the lower right corner in order to open the design editor for the selected form. If you're using Peachtree 2003 through 2007, Select the report group on the left side of the select a report window that matches the type of printer transaction you want to customize. So for example, if you wanted to customize an invoice, you would select the accounts receivable group. Then in the list of reports that appears at the right, scroll to the bottom of the list where you will see folders. The printed templates are contained in these folders. To view the contents of a folder, simply click it once. Next, click the form you want to customize within the folder and then click the Design button at the top of the Select a Report window to open the Design Editor for the selected form. Now the Design Editor is a window that allows you to add, remove, and change data fields, text fields, and other shapes and images. Before you begin adding new items to your form, however, you should examine the options in this window. If you click the Options button at the top of the window, you will see a set of checkboxes on the display tab that you can use to turn features on or off. The grid slash copies tab offers options for how you would like the grid to be displayed and measured, as well as how many copies of the form you would like to print each time you print a record. When you've selected the desired options, simply click the OK button. Now down the left side of your design editor window, you'll see a toolbar that contains buttons you can use to insert objects into your form. To modify an object within the form, you can click the desired object in order to select it, and then click the properties button. Now notice that when an object within the form has been selected, it will display small squares at each of the corners and midpoints of the object that you clicked. Depending on the type of object you select, the properties and options available to change will vary. Now you can set any of the properties of the selected object as desired within the properties dialog box that appears, and then simply click the OK button in the dialog box to apply your changes to the selected object. To insert a new object into the form in Peachtree 2008 through 2011, first click the Add button shown in the toolbar within the Design Editor, and then select the type of object that you wish to add to the form. Next, answer any prompts that are needed in order to insert an object of that type in the ensuing prompt windows that appear. Finally, click and drag over the area in the form where you want the object to appear. Now to change the type of paper that you want to use for the form, click the drop down next to the print button in the toolbar at the top of the design editor window and then choose the setup command from the drop down menu if you're using Peachtree 2008 through 2011. If you're using Peachtree 2003 through 2007, instead directly click the setup button that appears at the top of the design editor window. In the page setup dialog box that then appears, you will find several preset page sizes and layouts. While the form editing window can be used to make forms look however you want, Ensure that you do not place content in your form outside of the printable area of your selected form.
So for example, if your printer does not have a continuous feed option, do not select a continuous page style. Now when you're finished customizing your form, simply click the Save button. If you do not wish to save your changes, you can simply click the Close button and then click No when Peachtree asks if you want to save your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.